So today I'm talking about Beer Girl. So there is a price for sharing your personal life online. Now, first of all, I don't, I don't regret for one moment sharing, you know, all the, all the things I do with you guys, my subscribers. Um, I, I like to be open and honest and uh, show you the real life. Um, you know, obviously I spare you all the nasty little details that are unnecessary. Uh, but you know, if it's happening in my life and if it's a big part of my life, I like to share it with you guys. For those of you who are interested, anyway. But today I'm talking about how that can actually, you know, become a little bit of a strain sometimes and how it can, uh, you know, not always turn out for the best. So I'm talking about Beer Girl. Now, as of late, uh, I've been posting some, some videos about my, my fiance and, uh, you know, sort of what's going on in my life. And I constantly keep getting the same question. What happened to Beer Girl? And uh, I've explained it before in a bunch of my videos, but I suppose I have to make a direct video titled What Happened to Beer Girl so people can actually watch it and understand so that that question doesn't keep cropping up. So, let me get explaining. So the first thing about sharing your personal life or just your life in general online means that you basically air out your mistakes for everybody to see. Um, you know, not that I'm ashamed of my mistakes. Oh, let me duck down one of these corners. Everybody makes mistakes and uh, poor judgments. But, you know, we of course don't realize it at the time when we do it. So, let me just get right into the, the whole beer girl thing and then I'll talk a little bit more about the whole making mistakes online thing later. Interesting. Okay, what happened with beer girl? I mean, it's very simple and straightforward. I'm not going to get into all that much detail, but very basically, we got married. She used to live in Hong Kong. We got married. All my work and my business and everything is here on the mainland. So she came to live with me on the mainland. And uh, in the beginning, she enjoyed it because it was something new and different. Because although she lived over the border in Hong Kong, you know, very close her whole life, she pretty much never came over onto mainland China, or into mainland China, I should say. So um, after the initial honeymoon period wore off, she started to really dislike living here. You know, things are completely different, the way things work here. People behave differently, the, the language is different, the kind of things you can buy and the things you can do are all completely different, you know, in mainland China compared to Hong Kong. So it just started to wear, wear on her and she became more and more dissatisfied. And after about a year of living here, she just started to become like impossible to live with because she would just constantly be negative and complaining all the time and uh, you know that put a lot of strain on the marriage because of course she blamed me and kept trying to get me to leave China and move to Hong Kong or something and uh, it, it basically just ended up being a situation where you had two people with completely different outlooks on life living together and constant arguments and and just basically a very unhappy sort of a situation so it just reached a point where you know we realized that it wasn't working out she wanted to go back to Hong Kong I wanted to stay here to continue on with my my adventures and you know everything here and uh, before anyone jumps up and says that uh, oh, you shouldn't be selfish you know it's your wife you should she do what she wants. I really did try my best to to accommodate her and provide the best life that I could for her over here but it just wasn't good enough for her um, and that's probably the biggest mistake is when when we got married we didn't didn't realize just how different we were and how different our outlooks on life were so that's what happened we got separated the divorce has all gone through the final decree is well, the decree signed by the judge and everything. There's one more little thing I need to do in, in Hong Kong to finalize it, which I'll be doing, um, you know, in a couple of weeks. But uh, that that's that. So we're divorced. It's uh, it's over. We're separated. But it was, like I said, it was amicable. It wasn't a huge, terrible, big uh, drama at the end of it. So 
it was all pretty okay and uh, life goes on and she's enjoying herself living in Hong Kong where she wants to be and you know she's she's happy and everything's good and same same for me I'm still where I want to be doing the things that I I enjoy and I've met uh, an absolutely amazing girl who I'm now engaged to but uh, you know you got to understand this whole beer, beer girl divorcing happened over two years ago um, I just haven't been all that vocal about it anyway so let me talk about more about the whole sharing your life online thing okay so as many of you know I shared uh, a lot of my life with beer girl on YouTube and I uh, even shared my wedding with her on YouTube as well a lot of people that know me um, they've asked me well why don't you take down all the videos that you have of you and beer girl on on YouTube and I got a simple answer to that and that is I'm I'm not ashamed of my past what I did in the past is what I did in the past and that's never going to change so I basically just have to deal with it and um, I'm not going to try and erase it or hide it it's out there for everybody to see because that's the kind of person I am I do like to share my experiences and I like to share who I am with everybody out there you know and whether people decide to ridicule it or appreciate it or whatever they decide to do it's really up to them but uh, that's always kind of been my philosophy with YouTube is that uh, if I'm gonna put my life out there I may as well put it all out there so um, that's why the videos are still up and uh, I do still deal with that on occasion because people still comment on like when I'm getting married and saying things like congratulations or they'll say things like wow these two will never make it or you know there's all sorts of funny comments that come up every every once in a while and it just reminds me of the whole thing which is you know sometimes a little a little irksome but all in all it's, it's who I am and it's my past and that's just the way it is so I just leave it as it is so um, that's that's a little bit of advice for any of you guys out there sharing your personal lives you you kind of have to you have to know where to draw the line if you can't handle your mistakes being um, you know or the things that you're not that proud of coming back up at you all the time you know then rather don't show everything just show the things that you are comfortable with uh, but if you have a thick skin like I do and uh, you don't mind too much go ahead show everything if it turns out to be a mistake just deal with it when it comes back to you anyway that's really it guys beer girl is living a happy life over in Hong Kong uh, I last time I spoke to her was maybe a year ago by email and everything was good in her life um, and uh, I'm having a fantastic time over here everything's working out for me so that's pretty much the be all and the end all guys you will be seeing a lot more of my fiance in my upcoming videos so yeah now you know what happened to be a girl cheers oh and of course as always guys stay awesome